Hey everyone, it's daily pattern time. Um, whoo, sorry about that. A little bit glary. Today's pattern is Target by Yu Ru Chen. Uh, step number one, it's a, it can be drawn singly or in a grid. Um, mostly it's a grid pattern. Uh, step number one is to do a circle with a dot in it. Oh golly, you can't hardly see that. Let me try to adjust just a little bit so you can see. There, that's not too bad. Okay, um, a circle with a dot in it. And then you do these two kind of swoopy lines like that. Kind of a... See how even on this is a little more swoopy, so I guess the angle of that can determine exactly the look of, of this pattern. And then you aura it here and here. And then you aura this circle in there. That's pretty cool. And it looks like that when you're all done. I, I like that. Look at the different variations in here. Um, some of them she, she colored every other one and some of them she's got this dark line. Various things you can do with this pattern. So let's give this one a go. Oops. I am sorry. I keep tilting the phone so that I can see it, but you can't. All right. I hope you guys uh, were able to follow that a little bit. This is uh, Target. Make sure you if you are looking for these patterns, you go to patterncollections.com right there. See, patterncollections.com. That's where you'll find all of these patterns. Um, if you haven't joined yet over, uh, you can also follow along with these daily prompts over at uh, the Facebook group. Um, Tangle It Pattern Club. So, uh, you know. That would be where you want to go. I'm going to... I'm going to create myself a grid in pencil just so I can kind of lay out my thing. I like how she has one big one and then some smaller ones. I, I may do that, but I might do it in just slightly different fashion. So I'm gonna I'm going to kind of divide that as best I can evenly. Good luck with that, huh Don? Try to make them square-ish. I like that look, but I think I want... I think I'm going to do... I'm going to put one... I'll put my one bigger one here. Sort of out of the box. Like that. I'm gonna put one there. It looks like it. I don't like. I don't like that composition. It's. If I'm gonna put it in the middle, I need to put it right in the middle. Because slightly not in the middle makes it look like I. I'm way off. So maybe I'm going to let me put my lines back in here. Maybe I'm going 
going to stick it really on purpose, not in the middle. Like that. That's better. That way, you know I didn't mean to try to put it in the middle and I just goofed. That's a, that's, that's better. Compositionally, that is better. Okay, so let me draw these. Can you see? It's a hard time of day to draw, but I'm having a hard time figuring out the sun keeps moving. It's that time of year where where this it just seems like the, the sun is just not in the same place as it was when I first started these drawings. And I'm just having a hard time figuring out exactly what time is the best time of the day to draw. And sometimes I don't have a choice of the best time of the day to draw. I just have whatever time I have. Try to choose times where there's nobody home. The other day I was drawing my son was actually home and it very much distracted me because I was so worried about whether or not he'd be tromping through the house and making noise and I, I just really didn't feel the zen. It was kind of weird and awkward. So, really need to plan these when nobody's home. So you'll note that even though I put pencil down, I don't always follow where my pencil is. It's just a general guideline. It's not like a hard and fast rule of where my pen's supposed to go. It's just to help me coordinate my eye and my hand. Okay, something like that. Make sure it's dry. I'm gonna get rid of my pencil marks here. Need my eraser a little bit because it's got some muck in it. I like these kneaded erasers. They're nice and soft. They don't leave eraser dust mess all over your page. And you have for me, I have more control over what gets erased and what doesn't because I can change the, the shape of it. If I just want a little tiny bit, you know, I can make it into a point and just get right in, just erase the little bit that I need to erase. Or I can use the whole blob and lift color. I really like it. I store it in a plastic bag so that it doesn't get dust all over it and other things that that we don't want. Alrighty, so let's do that in the middle with a dot. And then we're going to pick a corner, any corner. We're going to pick this corner. And we're going to have something like that. See, my circle with the dot was kind of small, but that's okay. All right, and then we're just going to aura stuff. Oops.
like that. And then we'll go the other way. Yeah, this dot was a little bit small for the size of this square. That's all right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay. So I'm not going to see that one. That one's going to be a little more challenging because you don't see the starting place. So you're just going to have to use your imagination. the sample I like oops my phone turned off on me I'll turn that back on I like how oh, let's see if we can get the sample so you can see I like how some of these are going this way and some are going that way it looks like they went up you know like this going different directions um, I think I'm going to do that as well because I, I like that look rather than them all going the same direction. So, in order to do that, I have to think a little. It's not always my strong suit here. Um, so some are gonna go that way. Every other one, and then the others are gonna go this way, okay? Yes. Okay. doesn't go into that corner. Ha ha ha, it doesn't. That's all right. Um, works right so far so good I forgot I didn't need to go up into the corner <laughs> somehow I got a little carried away right there and that's okay and then this one's gonna go this way so this one will go this way you don't see that side then this one goes this way and this way and then this one will go like that and like that turn it around 
so I can think like that. And like that. And then this one will go this way. And that way. This will go this way and that way, right? It's like between, isn't it? Kind of. Okay. That's the base of that shape. So now I want to go on to aura these. Now it's just a matter of coming in here and doing some auras. Told you the other day, I've been binge watching um, YouTube videos. You guys ever do that? I've been watching, um, her name's Cinnamon Cooney. She's the art Sherpa. So much fun. Not drawing, painting acrylic painting but and I haven't actually got out any paints or done any of her of her stuff however just watching her paint helps me with my drawing I think Sure does put me in a good mood. So much better than watching the horrible stuff that's on regular television, that's for sure. Now, if you are one of those people who like lots of stuff on regular television, I'm not meaning to offend you. It's just my opinion that there's nothing good to watch. Besides that, I get really tired of commercials. So on YouTube, except for the very first little bit where you have to watch a commercial on sponsored YouTube sites, and I'm getting rid of that little commercial box that pops up and over the screen. Other than that, for the most part, you don't have to watch commercials. And you don't, certainly don't have to watch two or three minutes worth of commercials every 10 minutes. So I can watch one of Cinnamon's hour and a half, two hour videos and only have one commercial in all that time. Awesome. No wonder people are going away from regular television. I was watching, I was watching, I mean, I do occasionally watch regular television, and I was watching the other day. Uh, what was I watching? 
Dancing with the Stars probably. One of the few shows I actually watch. And they had a commercial with Christmas songs. We are, I am not ready to have Christmas commercials. No, I'm just not ready for Christmas commercials. It is not even just barely October, not even Halloween yet. You remember when Christmas started the day after Thanksgiving, the Christmas season? Where did that go? I miss that. I mean, I've been in, I've been working in retail for a very long time and I understand the whole retail concept thing, but there was back in the day, and this was a long time ago, but back in the day, We used to have Thanksgiving Day off. We didn't have to work that day. We did have to come back to work the day after Thanksgiving at the wee hours of the morning, like at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. or some ridiculous thing, because we weren't allowed to put any Christmas stuff out until the day after Thanksgiving. And then it all had to be put out and ready to go when we opened the store for Black Friday. So we had this marathon thing we had to do the day after Thanksgiving. And as much as it was a frenzy of activity and a lot of work, it also for me was a lot of fun because everybody had to work. We were all together as a team. We worked really well and the store to me it was magical because you know one day the store looked like a normal store and the very next day it was a Christmas wonderland. And to me that that There was something about the store just changing over all at once like that, that was fun and magical. Now, we put out Christmas in dribs and drabs that we've already started and, and the customers watch the transformation. And for me, it's not as magical when you watch it transform rather than it just you open up the store and it's already boom are been transformed for me that there's there's some sort of magic in that and I miss that and I certainly don't want to see Christmas stuff in July Christmas should be a special season you know it shouldn't be all year round it's no longer special and 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 unique um, when it's all year round like that and I understand there are some stores you know like the like my hobby stores that I go to my art stores um, Michaels and Hobby Lobby and Joann's and those where you know if you are a crafter and you need to make your gifts for Christmas you definitely need your Christmas stuff out in early but you don't need it all out you just need the crafty parts out you don't need the trees and the decorations out yet nobody's buying a Christmas tree in July you don't need it you don't need the, the, the decorations you need the parts bits and pieces yes you you need to put out your red and green uh, and and winter colored, you know, uh, sparkly bits and paints and, 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 and the doodads that come with making that creation, but you do not need to put out, uh, the, 
the trees and the ornaments. You just don't. It's too early, people. It's too early. Now, I am the type of person who buys gifts for people early. But to me, a Christmas gift, it's the same as a birthday gift. You know, it's it's whatever somebody um, really likes, and I don't necessarily have to wait for a Christmas sale to buy a Christmas gift. I just buy them as I see them. You know, nieces and nephews, well, grand nieces and grand nephews at this point. Um, you know, the kids are pretty easy to buy for. They each have their own thing that they are really into at the moment, uh, whether it's princesses or comic book heroes or whatever, and it's pretty simple to find them a gift early. I try, because I'm in retail, and because I really, really, really hate that whole frenzied shopping thing that happens after Thanksgiving. I try to have most of my Christmas shopping completed before Thanksgiving. There are some years I have it completed before Halloween. Um, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen this year. But I have started already. I've got some things stashed away. They're ready to be wrapped. I have to be very organized when I do things like this, though, because I have found in years past that, you know, maybe in the middle of the summer or maybe even right after Christmas, I found something that's just right for somebody that I want to give them for Christmas. And I buy it and I put it away in the closet and then I buy another thing for them and put it away in the closet because I've forgotten that I bought the first thing and then I sometimes do it again and some people get three gifts or I go in the closet and I go, oh that's not good I've overdone. So I do have to be very uh, organized. I do have to make a list of who do I need to buy gifts for. And then I write down what I bought them. And then I have a little check off as to whether or not it's been wrapped yet. Because some things can't be wrapped too soon. So I make myself a list and check it twice, just like Christmas, just like Santa. But I do do that throughout the year so that, well, for various reasons, besides the fact that I'm in retail and I really hate to shop in December, I don't have time. That's when I, that's when I have to work a lot. Um, but it's also friendlier on the budget instead of having a whole bunch of gifts and expenditures all in November and December I spread it out throughout the year and that makes it much much better on my pocketbook But then there are those that I, friends that I have that are, they, they enjoy that frenzy. They enjoy that uh, last minute shopping thing. And they do a whole marathon of shopping on like December 23rd. Ugh. That's not for me. But they enjoy it. 
And if they enjoy it, more power to them. It's just not my thing. Now I do admit to ordering a lot of stuff online and having a lot of things delivered. See, this was, this didn't take any thought and I could talk about other stuff. And I didn't have to talk about the pattern because the pattern just kind of did its thing. It was Once I had the base down, it was just a bunch of auras. Look at that. Do I want to do anything else to it besides just shade? I don't think so. Well, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll color in every other one on the big one. Think so? Yeah, I think so. The big one. The big one could 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 handle it. With sparkle. Because everybody needs sparkle in their life even if it's not glitter because glitter can be annoying but sparkle is not annoying see like that little bit of sparkle i always kind of aim toward the middle and from both sides I like to leave that where my pen stroke is really light and I kind of pick up right at the end and kind of flick my pen and that makes super thin little lines right there. And your eye notices that compared to like a bold thing. And it appears more shiny when you do that. Let me zoom in, you can see that better. Can I zoom in? Right there. Okay, don't move my paper or I will be out of frame for sure. And you just kind of flick my pen like that. This can be solid. But then I just kind of flick, flick, flick like that. And then I come back and fill in the spots over here that need to be solid. Like that. And remember, as these get smaller, you gotta, you've, uh, they're closer together. Just a little bit right there, like that. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're gonna turn it around so I can reach. Make sure I'm in the frame, and we're gonna do again.
Okay. The filling in of the pattern with the black sure does make it look different, doesn't it? Amazing. What a little bit of dark pen will do to a pattern. I haven't changed the pattern any. All I've done is color in every other stripe. It sure does look different. do that for this middle part or not? That is my question. I think I do kind of. I think I just want to make every other line thicker. I don't want to really make it super dark because I don't want that filled in as much. If I do every other line thicker, like that. Oops. No, I don't like that. Maybe every line thick. We'll just thicken up these lines. Instead of coloring them all in every other stripe, we'll just thicken up the lines. Okay, I like that better. Maybe I'll color in this dot in the middle. Leave just a little bit. Okay. I'll just do it like that. Just make those thicker. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Now to zoom back out and do a little shading. Zoom back out. Oh, wrong way. All right. A little bit of shading. Do all the way around this to start. some dimension and then I want to do a little bit right in here and I want to do that on all of these I want a little bit right in here Oh, 
all my curves. I feel like I could get out my little bit softer pencil. See, am I all the way around? Okay, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. that up just a little bit. Make that pop off the page. And then these little curvy bits. bit just a little bit of graphite in here so I have some in there to spread around I want all of that part behind the other You could shade this the other way and make these go back and these pop out, but that's not how I'm seeing it. But you could. That's what I was seeing in my head. Uh, need to sign it. I need to give it a name. There's Target. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.